for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Dame Gaspada, Mesdames and Messieurs, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, the challenger wearing black, red, and white. He officially weighed in at 175 pounds. He's a 2004 Olympian, but now as a professional, has 29 victories, including 17 big wins by knockout, with two defeats, one draw, and one no contest. Originally from Puerto Bronx, IET, but now living, training, and fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, the WBC Diamond Light Heavyweight Champion and former Ring Magazine IBO WBC Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, Jean Pascal! And across the ring, hiding out of the red corner, wearing red with silver. Officially weighing in at 174 pounds. As a professional, he has 26 victories, including 23 wins by knockout without a loss, with one draw. Dame Gaspada from Chelia Vince, Russia, the reigning, defending, undefeated light heavyweight champion of the world, Sergey Pershing. Okay, guys, I give you a introduction in the dressing room. They're having a clean match. Okay, good luck. God bless you. Jim, what did Don Turner tell you about Kovalev's meanest the other day? Don Turner said, Sergey Kovalev's the meanest fighter I've ever known. He's meaner than Sonny Liston in the ring. He's meaner than Ray Robinson outside it. And that's saying something. Pascal's got to hope that he's a bully and that when hit by a fighter in his prime who will fight back and has some pop, Kovalev will doubt himself. Otherwise, Kovalev has shown no doubt in his professional career up to this point. Certainly in the run, which has made him the top dog in the division since he started the big knockout streak a couple of years ago here in the United States. And of course, Went past eight rounds for the first time, proving he can go the distance against Hopkins, fighting his best round in the 12th. A remarkable performance. Now Pascal, with this large and emotional crowd behind him, tries to lift his game and provide Kovalev with a worthy challenge. Referee Luis Pabon, the third man in the ring, has been doing some brilliant work recently, including his right-on-target stoppage of Gennady Golovkin against Martin Murray in Monte Carlo a few weeks ago. And now in the early going, Kovalev is the aggressor as he works to try to find five, uh, Pascal with his jab. And here's the right hand. And this is what I expected, Jim. Sergey to come out, throw the jab, trying to stalk Pascal. Pascal has to offset, at least try his best to offset early, which Sergey tries to do. Pascal is an athletic fighter, some would say awkward. He throws from odd angles. He dances around, no, 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 no. sometimes oh, jumps oh, around, oh, yeah, moves oh, yeah. his feet in unusual ways. He idolized Roy Jones as a youth and still has some Roy Jones wiggle in his game. You see on Pascal's trunks, black boa in the Black Balboa. He feels that he's going to need a kind of Rocky-type performance to beat the Russian. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, one thing about the Rocky movies, which I love about four of about a ten or nine, <laughs> this is the real deal. This ain't the movies. Oh, no, 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 I need to I hear that. If 
Kovalev had no particular personal feeling for Pascal prior to this week. He's decided after the news conference and the weigh-in that he doesn't like him all that much. Remains to be seen if you want to prick Kovalev's skin in that way. Pascal did. Tipping his hat off of his head at the news conference and getting so close up in Kovalev's face that Kovalev felt constrained to have to push him away. The way he said it was, he violated my comfort zone. Well, Pascal is a very good chin, and the question is if you can take Kovalev's punch and come back with his own offense, how does Kovalev respond? Okay, nobody throw, nobody throw, nobody throw, nobody throw. Nobody throw. Round one is a scrap. With some grabbing, some holding, some wrestling, some lunging into each other. And Kovalev threatening Pascal with jabs and big right hand shots. Staining personality, and Angel dwarfs that. She is an absolute star who came into a fighter meeting with us a few years ago and took the room by storm with her enormous personality. Kovalev lands a right hand on the top of the head, and Pascal backs away. Pascal only threw 19 punches in the first round, landing five, and that is in keeping with his game. Bernard Hopkins, he's a low-output fighter who does not throw a lot of punches. Absolutely not, but the punches he throws, he do make them count, or try to make them count. But Sergey's getting that right hand. He's trying to test Pascal with that right hand. And you know what? That's going to be what he's going to be looking for. That is Sergey. Sergey's going to be trying to throw. Left hook by Pascal, but it's one punch. You need more than one punch to get the respect of Sergey. So far, it's been a technical fight for Kovalev. You see him in the first round jabbing the chest very effectively. John David Jackson's instructions in the corner are technical. And in Pascal's corner, there's a sense that he's going to have to have a big emotional night in order to overcome Kovalev's technique. Roy Jones is telling him, be the boss. Don't let him throw you around. Kovalev landing a hard right hand behind that jab. Pascal hesitated momentarily after Kovalev popped him right on the chin with the jab. I think Kovalev heard him. Kovalev's already finding the distance, guys. He, he, he's not having any trouble getting his punches to Pascal, and that, to me, spells trouble for Pascal. And he's making Pascal fight harder than he won. Max, you notice the right hand got his attention, Pascal's attention. And now Sergey is making sure that he put pressure on him and throwing that right hand to make Pascal fight as hard as he expected. Spend that energy in the early rounds. Sergey boloing the right hand to distract Pascal while he fires a jab. Jabbing to the body. As Max Kellerman pointed out earlier, those jabs to the chest are purposeful and they are an excellent strategy for breaking down a fighter like Pascal. And also driving that long the left right hand after the left jab. You know, it's like a fastball. He's throwing that right hand straight down, hitting the chest, the stomach, the body. Pascal, Pascal had with a good body shot right on the belt line. And now Luis Pavon is going to tell him it was below the belt line. And he's got to keep him up. Pascal could conceivably catch Kovalev with one of those big shots in those kind of awkward exchanges. He throws punches from angles that fighters aren't used to blocking. And if okay, he catches Sergey coming in, he can catch him with a right hand because, you know, Pascal has that er herky-jerky type of style, and he's deceiving. He can throw, launch off an overhand right or left hook, and he can catch him. Bernard, given that Pascal is already tasting Kovalev's left jab and has already tasted the right hand a couple times, does he have the kind of chin which could hang in for 12 rounds against Sergey Kovalev? Well, maybe he Pascal landed four out of 15. Nine jabs landed by Kovalev. That's a high number, particularly for a puncher like him. How does Kovalev respond to real resistance? Pascal had moments in that second round where Kovalev had to taste leather. And it's always interesting to see how a fighter who hasn't encountered a lot of that in his career responds. Crowd liked the right hand by Pascal, but it was partially blocked by Kovalev. But the point that Pascal threw, right hand and just now the left hand. I mean, he's getting the crowd behind him. He needs that energy. 
Sergey better continue to put that right hand on Pascal to have Pascal uh, kind of tentative to come in. That's why that jab to the chest is so important. It establishes the distance, keeps the distance, and sets up that right hand from Kovalev. Kovalev catching Pascal coming in with a right hand lead there. Now goes back to his one two. Body shot with the right hand by Kovalev. Pascal trying the left hook, just missing. Good right hand by Pascal. And the left hook got Kovalev a little bit off balance. Body shot by Pascal. Offensive stretch there for John. You know, Pascal is going to his left. I think he's trying to launch off that overhand right that is kind of wide sometimes, but he's trying to find that mark. But he did not stay on that rope. He just threw that kind of right hand. Another right hand. Oh, Pascal's having some big success in this round. Very good round for Pascal so far. And now he gets hammered by a left hook by Kovalev, and Pascal's in big trouble as he grabs Kovalev and holds on in the corner. Usually it's the right hand, that time it was the left hook that put Pascal in trouble. You know, Sergei is so smart. He went right to the body with the stiff left jab that he started off with. That's good. what John David Jackson wanted in the corner. He said he's looking for the right hand, so hit him with the left hook. And good recovery by Pascal, who managed to get back with a body shot after Kovalev landed the big thunder. Now Sergei trying to measure him for a right hand. Pascal needs to put those hands up. Left hook landed again inside for Kovalev. Pascal was a little off balance. Pascal had to know coming in he was going to have to weather moments like this to win. And this is the scene of his greatest win, a big upset against Chad Dawson. This would be bigger. Now Pascal looks weary as we come down the stretch of the round. And Kovalev's trying to size him up for one last clean shot. And he's hitting him straight with that left hand to the body. Here's Pascal again with those long right left hands. Big right hand. Pascal's over the rope. And that's going to be called a knockdown by Pabon as the rope held Pascal up. And there's the count. First time Pascal has ever been knocked down as a pro. Ropes kept him up. Great third round. And you saw Pascal leaning on the ropes as his head went through. That's why referee Luis Pabon accurately and quickly moved in to call it a knockout and start the count. Or knockdown and start the count. Now as this round begins, what kind of shape is Pascal in? He's not in good shape and this fight could be over right now if Pascal won't throw a punch. Sergey is dangerous at this moment. Pascal's legs are shot. The minute was not enough for him to get them back. Luis Pabon may have to make a tough decision here. Pascal doesn't want to go down. Well, Pascal's not getting hit with really big shots. He's catching him on his glove, and he's trying to sink. But now he's getting hit up the middle. Pascal is waiting in a wing right now. You do not want to be the target in a game of target practice for one of the biggest punchers in boxing. And, and Pascal has a tremendous chin. I mean, Kovalev has knocked down and has on Queer Street a guy who can really take a punch. 11-year-old Angel Pascal has left the building. As somebody in the Pascal group decided this was not something she should be watching at this moment. Great counter right hand by Pascal. But Kovalev's chin is pretty good, too. He's waiting to line up that right hand, and it's coming. Either down at the body or it's coming up top. And he's just waiting for the opportunity to let his hands go. That is Sergey. The relaxation of a great destroyer in the middle of seeking the destruction of a high-quality opponent. Still a minute and a half to go in the round. 
Pascal showing a lot of heart here, Max. He, you know, he could have took a knee, he could have bailed out, but he continued to still fight. And you know what? That's a champion of heart. He's waiting to get his legs back, where then he wants to load up and catch Kovalev coming in with something. But Kovalev hits so hard. Oh, there it is. Got a right hand by Pascal. There it was. Maybe he played a little possum. He waited until he got his legs back, and Kovalev came in without fear of what was coming back and got hit with two really good shots. And that comes from experience by Pascal. Pascal got experience to know now that it's his time. And he stayed there, he weathered the storm, and now it's his time to get his bone of flesh. And that's what he's doing now. Lively fight brewing here in Montreal. If Pascal can make it out of this round and get some of his legs back between rounds four and five. Kovalev has to be wary of these big counter shots that Pascal is throwing. And Pascal's gotten just enough of Kovalev's respect with those big counter shots to make it out of the round. Tremendous job by Pascal in this round. Pascal's 11-year-old daughter has enough confidence now to come back to ringside. Pascal made it through the fourth round, landing seven out of 11 punches in the round. Kovalev was 16 out of 50. We go to round number five. Kovalev looked disappointed between rounds that he had not been able to knock Pascal out. Let's see if there's a little letdown for the Russian crusher. David Jackson stating the obvious. Relax. Take your time. You got plenty of time. Kovalev's not accustomed to waiting. Well, Pascal did not, did not continue to wait on Sergei because Sergei is waiting to launch that right hand right down the pipe by touching him to the body and then the right hand up top. Yeah, try to find out if Kovalev is indeed a bully who will fold if you take him into deep water and really hit him with stuff late. That's all well and good, and Pascal is trying to his best to do that. But sometimes physics and biology takes over, and Kovalev's superior technique and punching power, you know, really hurt Pascal and have rendered most of his opponents unconscious. Well, the right hand lands for Pascal, or excuse me, for Kovalev. You know, Kovalev is throwing a good right hand, but he's, he, he's being the same guy every round. I like to see him change up and throw that same right hand coming up as a hook, or, I mean, as a right hook, or either as a uppercut, a right uppercut after the jab to the body. Or maybe go back to the left hook that was so effective in setting all this up. It was really when he began to throw left hooks and land them that he started to get Pascal in trouble. This has been a, a, one hell of a light heavyweight fight so far. Tremendous action in Montreal. Kovalev getting nailed, and he feels those shots. They're rocking him back. And he was going backward that time when he landed the right hand against Pascal, so it didn't land with the same force as has been the case before. Pascal is beginning to make a point with his big counter shots. I mean, Kovalev hasn't been drunk the way he's gotten Pascal drunk, but his footing isn't always sure after taking those Pascal shots. And Pascal's rallying back right now. He got the fans behind him. And you know what? Right now he's winning this round. I believe he's going enough to win this round. And not the fight. Exactly. Been a tremendous recovery 
from Jean Pascal, who looked to be gone in the third round and had to work hard to make it through the fourth and may actually be winning the fifth round now. Another hard counter shot with the left hand by Pascal, and he just misses with a right hand spear. Tremendous round for John Pascal for Pascal's counter shots in the last round and a half. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's heating up right now. And of course, you know, the crusher, Sergey, must continue to do what he did early in, in, the, in the fight, and that is use his jab and throw the right hand and try to get Pascal to jump in. But Pascal have overcame, you know, which almost was a knockout, and he has confidence, and he's going to fight back. He's going to fight back like a true champion. You're right, Bernard. It's not just that he came back from a knockdown. He's essentially come back from a knockout to do this. He was done at the end of that round and saved by the bell. And we just seen a straight right hand by Pascal. Oh! And another right hand, a counter right hand. And his right and hand hurt. by and Pascal. Hey, well, Kovalev, is, Kovalev is the one who has been hurt more often in the last two rounds. And once again, Pascal lands a right hand. We're getting to see what kind of a chin Kovalev has. And it may not be impregnable. Pascal is a very sneaky power puncher that would get his opportunities and make things happen, you know, at the worst times. And that's what he do. His rhythm, his off kind of rhythm, the, the odd kind of angles he throws from. There's a red mark on Kovalev's left cheek. But also, Pascal's right eye is beginning to swell and may close up as time goes on. Pascal was lineal champion for a reason. And he's showing the heart of a champion tonight. And Kovalev's going to have to beat a champion, a former champion tonight, to, to, to win this fight. Yep. Another right hand counter shot by Pascal. And more and more now, he's becoming the aggressor in the fight. And he got okay, Sergey's okay, attention. I mean, he really got his attention. A short right hand, Sergey coming in. You know, off balance shot, but he got his attention. Pascal landing the cleaner, harder punches here in rounds five and six. That's not something you expected to see after the way Kovalev was hammering him in rounds three and four. Pascal just rides those shots back just enough to have Kovalev miss by inches. We're here for getting the leverage. You know, Sergey can't get the leverage right now with that right hand because of Pascal. It's pulling back, but he just got hit with a right hook. And that was something different that Sergey had not been doing. Right, he early swept on. the right hand. He swept the right hand instead of throwing it straight down the pipe. After he landed a series of hard jabs. Well, in a division that hasn't had a lot of these kind of fights in recent years, this harkens back to the golden era of the 1980s. The way these two are throwing bombs at each other and you coming back at each other. Saad Muhammad against Dwight Muhammad Kawi. Yaki that Lopez. Kind of a fight. That's right. Or to Marvin Johnson. That's right. Matt from Saad Muhammad. Pascal, I believe, did enough to win that round. You see the right eye of Pascal there as it begins to swell. John looking just a little bit weary coming out of the corner. We go to the seventh of the schedule 12. Harold, how do you have it halfway through? I'm good, Jim. I've got it four rounds to two. 58, 55, Sergey Kovalev. You know, Jim, I agree with everybody else in this place that John Pascal did enough to win rounds five and six. I mean, he landed some haymaker right here. To get back to what I was saying, he landed some terrific right hands, so I thought that he pulled out two rounds. I mean, that right hand to Pascal absolutely could knock you out. It's amazing. I believe that Pascal leads down to the right to avoid Kovalev's right hand, and then he comes up with that wild right hand that does an awful lot of damage. Four to two, 
Kovalev. Okay, Bernard Hopkins, what about what Kovalev did while Harold was giving his score when he leaned over on top of Pascal and forced him down along the ropes? Well, absolutely. I mean, that's part of that wear tear, you know, put pressure on his legs. Pascal's trying to not go down, and he's being pushed down. That takes some energy, especially at a time no, 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 at the no, seventh round of a Toronto no, fight. Luis Malone giving the crusher a look that says don't hit him in the back of the head. Pascal's doing some cute stuff in there, too. Bernard, the highlight that you went over in between rounds, he deflected Kovalev's right hand with his own forearm and elbow and then countered. Pascal has been doing that lately in a couple of rounds. He's letting Sergey throw that right hand so he can get that right counter in. And, you know, he's effective when it works. But Sergey now is reserving that, and he's backing up and using that jab for distance and touching his body. Here in round seven, it's Kovalev who's been more active, and he's landing more punches. Got hit with one counter shot from Pascal, but Pascal hasn't been as active. There's a good left hook to the body by Jean Pascal. It's got to be discouraging for Kovalev to have essentially knocked out his opponent already and yet still get shaken up in round after round by that same opponent's big right hands. But a puncher will always, Max, always try to get that punch in until the fight is over, either by knockout or by decision or stoppage, because he's a puncher. That got him where he's at right now. Pascal's been missing instead of landing in this round. And you see that Kovalev, a little bit more conservative, has gone back to the jab. Now lands a left hook there after missing the right hand. Pascal looking just slightly weary here in the seventh. Hasn't been able to make as much purchase with those big counter shots as was the case in the two preceding rounds. Kovalev got in a good left hook. That Kovalev slips on the pit in the center of the ring. You can tear a knee that way. You can pour and pull a muscle. Anything. anything. Exactly. Yes. Very dangerous. I think Pascal was badly hurt by that left hand at the end of the last round. He stumbled back to his corner. And he got hurt just now with two or three combination punches. And, and you know what? I'm going to pay attention to it because I think that really, really been effective and it's thoroughly in the fight. Well, the round. But the, the black boa thing can seem like a gimmick, but I think that's the kind of mental condition and emotional preparation for this fight. Well, right now, I think it's going to be over yep. because Sergey is throwing some wonderful punches. Down goes Kovalev, and it's not a knockdown. Luis Pabon says that was not a knockdown. It was a trip. But, but it was what well, happened Pas at a moment when he seemed on the verge of knocking Pascal okay. out. But Pascal has weathered those moments because of the kind of fight he was prepared it's, for. It's right 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 now. And Luis so, Pabon's going to stop it right away. So, Complaining about the stoppage at the end and maybe, just maybe deserved the benefit of the doubt there. But you're probably right. For his own health, it was a good stoppage. Of the end of the fight. Here comes Kovalev as the action begins again after a brief stoppage following the slip in the far corner. And here's Kovalev landing the right hand flush on the chin of Pascal. And at that moment, referee Luis Pabon says, I've seen enough. And now let's go back an entire minute and take a look at the entire ending going back further in the round. This was after Kovalev had slipped on the yellow portion okay, in the center of the ring. And somehow, Bernard, it just seemed that Pascal's energy had dropped between rounds. And as he came back out, maybe hurt by the left hand at the end of the preceding round, he didn't have much going. Well, you said it. You said it. He got hurt. 
the last round. He didn't fully recover, and now it was just hanging in the wind, and it was Pickens for Sergey. So Kovalev landed two big right hands and the left hand, and then fell in Pascal's corner, which Pabon ruled was a slip, not a knockdown. And then Pascal looked wobbly okay? as he went to the far corner, okay. and you hear Pabon asking him, are you okay? And that's when Kovalev went after him. Second Azur, ladies and gentlemen, the contest is called to a halt. The official time, one minute, three seconds, round number eight. The winner by TKO victory. And still, the undefeated light heavyweight champion of the world, Sergei Krushin.